Faith is the reason why, even in pain, I smile. In confusion, I understand. In betrayal, I trust. In fear, I continue to fight. I never forget the day I left my family in a civil war country, Sri Lanka. The fear of never seeing them again. Every day and night, I thought about them. So many tears. I love my family. Arrived in Australia, I was trying to survive. It was a cultural shock. Years passed by. I finally found my lifetime partner. I got married and had four beautiful children, three boys and one girl. I adore them dearly. We moved from one city to another. Our children were very young. Our daughter only a couple of months old. I started a job and full-time study. It didn't go well for me. The darkness started creeping into my life. As a mother and a wife, I have responsibilities. I tried my best to fulfill those responsibilities. In a foreign country, with no family, no help, just my husband and I, our children, and faith in God. My husband saw the warning signs, the dark clouds appearing in my life. He told me to slow down. Unfortunately, darkness already got hold of me. No help. I drift away from God, from my faith, even though I drift away from my God. He never let go. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep water. True, peace does not come as a result of eliminating sorrows and disappointments. It comes as a result of one thing, and that is an intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. To me, he is where anxiety ends and peace begins. Faith is the significant element in my recovery journey. I'm thanking God for my family and friends who prayed for my recovery. My anchor was my husband and my children and my family overseas. Challenges are what make life interesting and overcoming them is what make life meaningful. I have had many disappointments, but I learned from all of my experiences. Now I love helping others through their own recovery journeys. My Heavenly Father is protecting me. I have joy inside me. One thing, nobody cannot take that away from me.